Alright, welcome back to part 3 of our variable and fixed expense reporting exercise. In this exercise, we're going to go ahead and add the measures to the project. Remember, we wanted to have different numbers, different measurements for a variable expense, fixed, and other expense amount. So, in our cubes, or rather, in the staging table, we're going to go ahead and add those measures, those measurements. I'll add a custom field, and we'll call it fixed expense amount. We're going to make it numeric, and there we go. We'll add another one for variable expense amount. Again, numeric, and other expense amount. All right. We have these three blank fields, now we need a transformation. We need to say, okay, you need to be equal to the value amount. So I'm going to add a transformation, and it will be a custom transformation based off of the field amount. But you're only equal to the value amount if, or on the condition, that expense type, remember that label we created in exercise three, is equal to the value fixed expense. And we'll do the same thing for variable expense. We'll say variable expense. You need to be transformed. You need to be equal to the value amount. But you only need to be equal to the value amount on the condition that expense type is equal to variable expense. We'll rinse, wash, and repeat for other expense, and then we'll deploy and execute. But before we do all that, I'm going to go ahead and sync these new fields in my data warehouse. So under finance transactions, I'll say, OK, let's add fixed expense. Let's add variable expense. And let's add other expense. In our cubes, we'll say, OK, I've got these new fields, these new measures that I've added on the fact table. I need to define new measures in my cube. So I'll say, OK, well, let's go ahead and add a standard measure. Let's stand, add a standard measure for variable expense amount. And that variable, or that measure, is going to look at the finance transaction table. And it's going to take the variable expense amount field, sum it up. And then we're going to add one for fixed expense amount, which is based off of the finance transactions fact table. And you are the field fixed expense amount. Okay. We'll again rinse, wash, and repeat for other expense, deploy and execute, and we'll see what it looks like in our cubes. All right, I'm going to be right back while I take care of this. All right, so deploy and execute completed successfully. And just to recap what we've done so far, we went to our fact table and we added um, custom fields, fixed amount, variable amount, and other amount. We used field transformations with a with a conditional rule attached to it to say when fixed amount was equal to the amount field. Then we define new measures in our cubes, and we just use basic um, standard measures. And then here they are in our pivot table. Now, if you wanted to get more advanced and say, oh, I want ratios, I want to take variable amount divided by fixed expense amount, or vice versa, or take variable and expense and variable minus fixed, or variable plus fixed minus other, right? If we want to do additional math, we have that option using calculated measures or business functions. All right, so this was just a basic exercise, um, taking a look at doing transformations in the cubes and data warehouse using Jet Enterprise around a project um, based off of uh, variable and fixed expense reporting. My name is Jay Wilson. You can reach me at jae at honestreporting.com. Thanks so much for joining us for this session. Cheers.